Today we're going to be talking about healthy snacks and specifically healthy snacks that are from the Mediterranean diet. And what a better way to do that than here at Logan Airport where we are about to fly to the Mediterranean. So we're going to be going to the island of Crete and right now I'm going to show you what snacks we packed for this trip. So basically what I did was I got some of these uh, cool bento boxes off of Amazon. So what I basically did was I packed two bento boxes with different types of snacks. And the first box is with perishables. And the reason that I did that is because I know these are the foods that I can eat maybe in the first like four to five hours of travel. And so we have here some uh, grapes, some carrots, pretzels that are gonna go with this hummus. The hummus snuck over a little bit onto the uh, pretzels in travel, and then some cheese and grape leaves. Now, the great thing about all of these things, these are super easy to pack. These are all things that I got at the store, including canned grape leaves and hummus that I got from the store as well. You can make your own hummus, you can make your own grape leaves, but usually, honestly, when you're about to travel, you don't have a lot of time for such things. The other thing that I like to think about is, because I'm gonna be flying on a plane, uh, I wanna to try to keep the sodium levels down because I don't wanna you know, blow up if, when I'm on the plane, so it's best to keep the sodium levels low. So you'll see in the next package, which is the, the non-perishable snacks, these are snacks that are gonna last longer. These are snacks that um, can pretty much last the entire time that we're traveling, which is about 24 hours to get the, the Mediterranean. So here we have, um, this is actually a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but you could make, to make it more Mediterranean, you could make it like a tahini and honey sandwich. And then we have cashews and chocolate covered almonds, um, oranges. And then I have this, which uh, I haven't really eaten much before, but these are freeze dried strawberries and freeze dried bananas. And those are gonna last, those would last for weeks. Um, if I like for the return trip. And so what you wanna do when you're uh, making snacks like this is first figure out, do you want it to be uh, the perishable or the non-perishable and separate them out, eat the perishable first and then wait for the non-perishable after. And you could do all kinds of snacks. You could, you know, with something like this, you could have artichoke hearts, um, you could have roasted red peppers. I try to make things that I wouldn't have to uh, use a fork or a spoon, basically finger foods, because we're gonna be on a plane. Um, so that is the really simple way to make your own uh, snack bags. And basically I did this in about 10 minutes, the whole thing. I made two for me, or one for me, and one for Winter, who I'm traveling with, and then the same with the other one. And so this is gonna also save you a lot of money because I just bought for example, this bottle of water, and it was $5. So if I have bought all these different things at the uh, airport, it probably would be like around 50 bucks or something like that. So those are my tips for uh, healthy Mediterranean snacks. Um, I hope that you try these on your travels and let me know what, uh, what are your, some of your favorite Mediterranean snacks that you bring when you travel. I'm gonna eat. Calorexi.